this cop car has pulled over this nice red sports car. He's pulled the car over. That means stopped that car. Put on his lights and pulled him over. What's going to happen? What is the police officer going to say? What should this person say? Well, this lesson is about talking to the cops. Cops means police. Okay, hey, if you like getting tips like this, I would be so happy if you help me reach a billion subscribers on my channel. Actually, a billion is too many. That's too many, right? How many do you think I should have? Let me know down there in the comments. How many subscribers should I have on my YouTube channel? I'm not even sure. I don't have a goal. Who knows? I need your help. I need your advice. How many do you think I should have? Okay, so the first thing I want to tell you is if you get pulled over by the cops, you need to stay in your car. Just stay sitting in your car. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because I didn't know this. Actually, the first time I got pulled over by the cops, I stopped my car, I looked in the rear view mirror, and nothing was happening. So I thought maybe I have to get out of my car and go talk to them. So I got out of my car and immediately the police officer said, sir, stay in your car, sit back in your car. Okay, so I, I got back in my car and I sat there for like five minutes and then he came to talk to me. Okay, so stay in your car. I had no idea. Nobody ever taught me this. Nobody taught me what I should do if the cops pull me over. So I want to teach you what I didn't know. Okay, um, now when the police officer comes to talk to you, he will ask or she, okay, cops in Canada can be men or women. I know in some countries, most cops are just men, but here in Canada, it could be a man or a woman, okay? So the police officer will always ask you for your driver's license, your insurance, and your registration, okay? So these three things you need to have ready. Okay, so while you're sitting there waiting for the police officer to come talk to you, you should just get these things ready. Okay, you probably have the insurance and registration in your glove compartment or your glove box, right? So get those things out of your glove box and get your driver's license out of your wallet and have them ready. And then when the police officer comes, you can just give them to him, okay? So sometimes the police ask sort of stupid questions like this. Do you know how fast you were going? <laughs> Where are you going? Have you been drinking? Where are you coming from? Okay, they might ask you some questions like this. Um, and then they, they might say this. They might say, you drove through a stop sign, or you were speeding, or you ran a red light. That means you drove through a red light, or you are driving an unregistered vehicle. Okay, an unregistered vehicle. What does that mean? Well, that means um, that you don't have a sticker here on your license plate. Okay, so every year in Canada, you have to get a new sticker and put it there. Look, this sticker says 17. That means 2017. That sticker says 16. So that was last year, you know, 2016. So it, you put, oh, you know, always you alternate. Okay, so 2018 would be over there, then 2019. Then. So every year you have to go to a registry office and renew your registration. Okay, it costs here in Alberta, I'm not sure if it's different prices in different provinces, but here in Alberta, it costs about, I think about 
80 to a hundred dollars to register your car every year. And if you buy a new car, then you have to register that car. Okay. So it can be a bit of a hassle. This is what I got a ticket for the very first time I got pulled over because I had moved houses and I didn't get the things in the mail saying that I need to renew my, my license or something. I just, I didn't know. I was a very young driver and I didn't know these things. So I didn't have a sticker here. So that's why the police pulled me over and they said, you are driving an unregistered vehicle. So I got a ticket for $220. That was a lot of money, especially back then. That was 10 years ago. Okay, so that was, it hurt so bad. I was so sad to get that ticket, but I had to pay it. I didn't have any options. Okay, so the police officer will probably say, I'm giving you a ticket for speeding or for, you know, reckless driving or something like that, okay? And then uh, he will say, please sign here. So you have to sign the ticket. It's sort of stupid, but you know, it's, it's sort of an acknowledgement that you are guilty. So they make you sign it saying that you, you accept the ticket and that you will pay it. Okay. So on the ticket, it gives instructions for how to pay the ticket. There are several different options. All my tickets I've paid online. Okay, so that's the easiest option. There will be a website there. You can just go onto the website, put in the ticket number, and then pay, you know, with your Visa card or with your your debit card or something like that. So that's what you do if you get a ticket. Okay, Uh, now there are a lot of different driving infractions that you might get a ticket for. Infractions means like a crime. Not a real crime, not a really bad crime, but just sort of a small crime. Infraction, it means you broke the rules. You broke the rules, okay? For example, not wearing a seatbelt. So here in Canada, you have to wear your seatbelt all the time when you're driving. Otherwise, you might get a ticket, okay? Or reckless driving, right? That's a driving infraction. You can't drive like that. You have to drive in a straight line and you have to be a good driver, right? Um, Maybe your license plate is not visible. Your license plate is not visible. Now, why would it not be visible? Well, here in the winter, it snows a lot. In Canada, it snows all the time in the winter and the snow doesn't come down like this. You might think, Canada is such a beautiful country in the winter. It snows like this. Well, sometimes it does, but most of the time it snows like this. It comes from the side. So your license plate could get plastered with snow. It happens all the time. It happens to everyone. If you park your car outside on the street, it's going to happen to you in the winter. Okay, so you need to clean off your license plate before you drive. Otherwise, you might get a ticket. Okay, so what should you say if the cops start asking you questions? What should you say? Well, you're probably really nervous, right? Your heart is probably pounding. Boom, 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 boom. You're, you're scared. You don't know what's going to happen. Well, just try to stay calm. Take some deep breaths. <sighs> try to stay calm. That's the first thing. And just try to deal with the situation. You know what? It can be a very frustrating a situation to deal with because sometimes the police officers are not very friendly. You know, sometimes they can be very friendly, but sometimes there are very, very bad police officers here in Canada. I mean, Canada has nice people and bad people. So it's the same with the police. There are some nice people and some bad people. Uh, There can be some very bad police officers here in Canada. Like sometimes police officers get 
caught for child pornography. Can you believe it? They get caught for child pornography and put in, in prison. Yeah, it happens here in Canada. Okay, I mean, that's that's really bad, right? So there can be some really bad cops. And in that case, it's just frustrating. It's very, you know, I... I've had some good experience. Well, it's always a bad experience, right? It's always bad. But I've had some experiences that were not so good. I've been pulled over five times, I think five or six times. One time I got pulled over and I looked in my rear view mirror and the cop wasn't coming, you know, to talk to me. So I turned off my car, right? I turned off my car to save gas. Right? I didn't want to leave my car running for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So I turned my car off. Then after about 5 or 10 minutes, the cop came out of his car and he, he came to my window. And I rolled down my window. And the first thing he said was, why did you turn off your car? Why did you turn off your car? And I, I was like, well, I wanted to save gas. I didn't want to leave my car idling. If your car is, if your engine is on, but you're not going anywhere, that's called idling. Okay, if you're idling, you may as well just turn your engine off, right, to save gas. So that was a weird question. And I, I told him, I want to save gas. And then he said, no, it's because your car is too loud and you thought I was going to give you a ticket because your car is too loud. What? I was just astonished. I was astonished. What was I supposed to say? My car was just a normal car, right? Just a cheap old car. Okay, just a normal car. It wasn't that loud. It wasn't even that loud. And he thought I was turning my engine off because I was scared to get a ticket for driving a vehicle that was too loud. That doesn't even make sense, okay? There are so many Harley Davidsons in Canada. Have you ever heard a Harley Davidson? <sighs> if a Harley Davidson drives past, it's loud. It's really loud, okay? It's like 10 times louder than my car was. But I don't know what he was thinking. Anyway, you might have some strange experiences like that where they pull you over for no reason or you know, some weird reason. So in that case, just try to stay calm. And I would say just answer their questions. Just try to answer their questions. Give short answers. Just give short answers. If they ask you, where are you going? Just say, I'm going home. Uh, or if they say, have you been drinking? Just say, no, I haven't been drinking. Okay. Um, and then also do what they say. You know, if they say, get out of your vehicle, then get out of your vehicle. Um, if they say, you know, sit back down in your vehicle, then sit back down in your vehicle. They probably won't do anything bad. You're probably not in danger. Um, at least I hope not. I know there have been cases where the police have abused their authority uh, here in Canada and other countries. But I think Canada is generally pretty safe. The police are not going to rape you. I don't think anyway. I hope not. You know, a good idea would be to get a little camera and put it in your car. And if you ever get pulled over, then record the situation on camera um, or get a little voice recorder, maybe on your phone or something. Just record the conversation um, so that if something happens, then you have evidence to use against them in court. You can go to court and you can, you know, you can probably get, yeah, I don't know, some money out of it. Maybe you can sue the police or, or I don't know, something like that. At least then you have some evidence. So I don't have that yet, but actually I want to have a setup in my car where if that happens, then I record the whole situation and they won't be able to abuse me. Okay, now the other thing is do not try to bribe them. Bribe means pay them some money to let you go free. Do not try that in Canada because that's probably not a good idea. I know in a lot of other countries, 
that happens all the time. But in Canada, I'm sure it happens in Canada, but it's not a good idea. So try not to do that. Don't bribe the cops. Um, and you know, I would just say, always have your documents in your car. Sometimes people forget their driver's license at home or their registration. Just always have your insurance, your registration, and your driver's license in your car all the time while you're driving. That's really good. Uh, well, you need to do that. You don't have any other options. Otherwise, they'll give you a ticket. If you don't have your driver's license, that could be bad, or your insurance. It could be really bad. So you need to have those things in your car all the time. Hey, I want to know, have you ever been pulled over by the cops? What happened? What happened? Let me know down there in the comments. What is the craziest thing that has happened to you? Tell me a, an interesting story. You know, actually recently there was a Canadian woman who was driving in the US and she got pulled over by the cops and the cops asked for her driver's license and she gave them her driver's license. And the cops said, you can't drive in the US using a Canadian driver's license. And she was like, what? That's crazy. <laughs> That's just completely wrong. It's obviously anybody in Canada can drive in the U.S., right? U.S. and Canada have a treaty. Americans can drive in Canada and Canadians can drive in the U.S. That's just common sense. Everybody knows that. But sometimes the police in the U.S.A. are just really stupid. Worse than Canada, okay? I mean, most of the cops, I think, in Canada are pretty decent, but down in the U.S., those cops are crazy. They're insane. They put that girl in jail. They put that girl in jail for driving on a Canadian driver's license. Can you believe that? That's completely illegal because the countries have a treaty saying we can drive in each other's countries. That is just insane. Uh, and some cops in the U.S., they just shoot black people for no reason. You've probably seen those videos on the internet. It's so sad. Uh, it's just terrible how sometimes the cops will just shoot black people. It's just insane. Uh, so, you know, I think the, the cops in the U.S. are really not very good quality cops. Um, I'm actually afraid to go to the U.S. I'm afraid to go to the U.S. I've been all around the world. I would not go to a city like Chicago. I would be afraid I would die in a city like Chicago. I've lived in China, for example. China is a very safe country. I felt really safe when I was in China. I've been to Thailand. I felt very safe when I was in Thailand. But in the US, that's just a very dangerous country to go to. I don't even have a desire to visit the US anymore. So how about you? Would you go to the US? I hope you don't die. Anyway, let me know. Have you ever been pulled over? What's your craziest story? Let me know down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.